Yupa Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 12, Yule Egan, which, thoughts. So this is basically, yeah, the title translates, see, it's a play on words. So there, the word sounds like the word our word for Christmas, but it's spelled like our word for wheels, and then the word again after, which, you know, yeah, Danny is stealing wheels for the you know, the the hot dog stand, and maybe they can have a Christmas because of, the, you know, that's the, the pun there. Another episode I love, though I acknowledge it definitely has problematic elements, and I will be discussing at least some of them. So yeah, we, um, yeah, this has some of my favorite jokes. Um, the whole limp thing, which I will explain for English speakers um, shortly, but but yeah, um, yeah. We open on like I'm I'm impressed that Anna didn't suffer like a massive concussion and had to be rushed to hospital. That you know, but but yeah, it's a great because because we don't know he's there either. Not that Danny should be throwing crowbars so casually anyway. But yeah, you know, he he throws it and, and hits on it right in the head. Which is, you know, it's of course accomplished by the one that actually hits on his head is not an actual crowbar. It's a replica that's like plaster or something, you know, cardboard, something light where you can't see it. You can feel it if you try to pick it up, but you can't see it in, in a, you know, if you film it with a, a regular camera. Anyway, the, the, but, but yeah, you know, he's like, why do you need a crowbar? Which, you know, of course, it's because he's been stealing the wheels from cars. But, you know, yeah, for this, I'm gonna have to, so, so yeah, um, the Danish word for crowbar is kopin, cow leg. And, yeah, so, you know, he's like, why, why do you need a cow leg to, to drink water? Uh, in case the fridge is, is you know, the, the fridge door is stuck. And it's not water, I'm drinking milk. So, I thought, you know, cow. And, let's see, yeah, and, and Anna, you know, really, like, completely... You know he's he's got to get his bearings, and and so you know. Let's see. Yes, I have an idea of how to translate. Yes, so you know he's like ah, oh, you know this this ah oh, this this headache. Don't get me started. And Danny's like, on what? And it's like, what? Don't get started. Don't get started on what? You're the one who started this. <laughs> Just yeah, very very nicely done. And yeah, um, the reason Honest slept over is not so they could have a slumber party. It's because he couldn't leave in the car yesterday because someone took the wheels. And you know, obviously it's Danny, so he has to make up a cover story to distract. And he's like, oh yeah, it's it's the the elves because again you know the danish word for christmas sounds like our word for wheel so christmas elf wheel elf you know so which also yes i'm not entirely sure it's part of i i don't know enough about american um the the mythology around christmas i'm not sure y'all's elves are quite like our elves are almost like trolls, you know, they're, they're like, and I mean that in, in, you know, both the, like, mythological sense and also, like, the internet behavior sense, you know, they, they, yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna do stuff that's gonna annoy you, kind of thing. So, yeah, they, they'll steal from us. And, and we have to, to ply them with, you know, rice, Pudding? Rice porridge. Rice porridge, I guess, is the, the direct translation of Yeah, you know, stuff stuff like that. Um let's see. Yeah, and and you know, um Stuart is is not quite 
you know, don't don't talk to him until he's had breakfast and it's it's a beer, you know. And let's see. yeah, and and um, yeah, Stuart says Bef before we talk, I have to go. You know, he makes several very <laughs> the kind of you know he uses a couple of phrases that really put pictures in your heads. Starting to see pictures, aren't you? And you know, yeah, he he walks off and honest like. He, sh he sure paints a picture with words, doesn't he? And then he's like, no, I think he's just gonna take a dump. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, Grete shows up. And, yeah, I it's so it's so immature, but I just, I love the limb thing, which, yeah, so she says it looks like Jerusalem here, you know, or the, the siege of Jer something, you know. And, and um, yeah, Danny keeps laughing at the word lem, which is, of course, part of Jerusalem. In Danish, lem is like an old word for, you know, I, 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 the, like the direct translation would be member, you know, penis. And he just can't stop laughing. You know, first he's like, uh, what? You said lem? Okay. And then she says a little bit more. It's like, what's funny about that? They're still laughing about lip. <laughs> and just, yeah, he keeps laughing. You know, a little later, he he starts laughing again. And he's like, you've, you've been rude. You're just a minute ago, you said lip. And, you know, later, it sounds like he's laughing at something Stuart said. But as they goes, she said lip. <laughs> Just yeah, and and then with the very end, with the speaker also, you know, the, the speaker's like, "What did it look like at the siege of Jerusalem?" Lem, and and yeah, the speaker's characteristically annoyed at the yeah, and yeah, Greta just cuts into both Anne and Danny, and, you know, the the appearance and you know with with Danny it's also that he doesn't have a job and you know she insults his intelligence and all these things and there's some there's some very funny stuff there it really it's it's pretty obnoxious that this thing of you know she's basically made out to be just this irrational like oh all well, she does is complain like even Anna, which really felt out of character, is like, why are you so mad? What do you mean, why? Is she, she, like, she very clearly explained, you know, he's, Stuart is behind on rent, and she, you know, the, it's not just her, she also has the, you know, she has other people she has to, to, um, she has responsibilities, you know. Um, but, and, and yeah, you know, she's just standing there, just talking, 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 and, and we're not really supposed to, like, we're supposed to laugh at some of what she says, but we're not really supposed to think that she's making good, good points, for example. And, and then the, you know, Stuart is able to, to get, let's see, first on and later Danny, and even though she's talking to them, she doesn't seem to notice that they leave, and this is, you know... There's that's something. That's a that's a misogynistic trope. This thing of you know women apparently like to to yell so much at men they don't even notice if the man is paying attention or even you know. And here, I, I'm not sure I know of other places. Maybe it is. Maybe this is not the only place. But here they take it to the point where the man she's yelling at even leaves and she's still just yelling. So you know. Let's see, and, but, but yeah, you know, um, Stuart keeps talking Anna into it, and finally Anna's like, so you want me to lie? And Stuart's like, sure, this, yeah, if, if that's, uh, yeah, mm, go. And, you know, he's like, no, I, we should tell the truth. And he's like, okay, get Danny over here then. And, uh, let's see, yeah, and, and Danny is being, uh, yeah, it's, um, Greta is, is criticizing Danny's appearance, and then she starts saying, like, you know, I mean, it's not too bad looking, and Randy walks in, and then we have the, the stereotypical misogynistic of, you know, oh, women are in competition with each other, so they're gonna just, you know, be, be really 
awful to each other because you know a lot of misogynists like to think that men are the center of the universe there are some really funny lines there and there's actually in in the outtakes there's a really epic there's a one taker where uh, Madison as Randy just keeps firing off stuff and it seems like at least some of it is stuff he's coming up with on the spot and it's it's in character it fits this thing of like it's a funny thing to say you can understand why she'd be saying it but there's also like at least one or two things wrong with the things she's at like she's mispronouncing words or the things she's saying or make her look bad too that that kind of thing let's see and um yeah and and near the end of the episode you know Stuart suggests you know we we have to we, we hit the streets we make money there and this is also the episode where you know yeah they manage to they're they're they do now have new wheels but they can't fix it in an hour it's gonna take a few days and you know yeah for those who don't know about Ammon calendars pretty much each episode is one day so that's telling us you know it's gonna be several episodes at least before so yeah in the meantime they're gonna have to make money in other ways you know which brings up the next thread which you know up until this point there have been several things about you know Danny getting and main and and keeping this this job and then you know ends up with, with getting fired and now they're gonna try to make money yeah um, also because you know they've also seemingly sold off everything they had in the home that was worth a lot of money so uh, yeah, next episode I should be able to do tomorrow, so hope to catch you then.